guys, welcome to today's video. So Sophie, so we asked you guys to send us questions on Instagram, and now my battery oh. is <laughs> dying. And Gabby got iced tea had. because it's the only okay. caffeine they had. We asked you guys to ask us questions about this new a possible horse. We're still waiting on a vet check coming very soon, but we're gonna try and answer you guys' questions um, now anyway. Question number one, Sophia. What is the first thing that attracted you to this horse? Um, how sweet he is. How sweet he is. So the first thing that attracted me to this horse is that <coughs> was his personality. It was totally his personality and it wasn't the sweetness, it's the storm-like mentality that he has. He's calm, relaxed, and slow. Like he moves his head really slow. He does everything very methodical, just like Storm. When Storm spooks, he just like calms himself and watches. He's just a watching horse. He's not a reactive horse. All right, Sophie, what are your goals on this horse? Um, I wanna do jumpers. And he can definitely take me there. Will you do some hunter shows as well? Yeah, he can also do hunters. My goals for her and this horse, which I know some of you guys won't understand, is for them to just have a journey together. Like, to me it doesn't matter what discipline they do together as long as they build a relationship and have fun along the way. Sophia, I just wanted to ask you, if this horse decided somewhere along the way he couldn't do jumpers, he could only do hunters, would you still want him or would you yes. want to trade him in and get a horse that could do exactly what you want. I still want him. Yeah, and I feel like it's important to say that sometimes when you do get a horse, you intend to use it for something and you try and match him up to what you want to do, but sometimes horses will say no, like Storm said no to Gabby when she got to a stage in her development where she wanted to change things up and he didn't want to change things up. And my priority and I think Sophie's priority is love, a relationship, and doing fun things together and enjoying each other. We're not so super serious in the show, in the show end of things, Gabby nor Sophie. We do it for fun. If it stops becoming fun or if the horse or Sophie don't enjoy it anymore, then we'll discuss that if it happens. But I think those are our priorities. Sophie, is he your forever horse? Is he a forever horse? I think so too. I think Sophie could definitely grow into this horse, has a lot of room to grow into this horse, both skill-wise and he's very tall, which brings me to the next question. How big, how old, and what's your favorite thing about him? So, how tall is he? He's 17 one. 17 one. So how old is he? He's really young. He's young, and that's another weird thing, is that we did not actually want a horse like this for Sophie. We had actually something completely different in mind, and if he doesn't pass the vet check then, that could still come to pass. We could still be looking for another horse. But what we noticed, what we were talking about the other night, was that one of Gabby's horses is 11 and acts like... I thought he was 12. 11 or 12 and he acts like a baby. This horse is so much younger and he acts like he's 20, yeah. right? Like he's just so calm and has such a level-headed brain and I think that is what really made us think that he is a good horse for Sophie. Hey, Sophie, somebody else wants to know, is he a push button or a pull rod? Like do you push him or pull him? Well, he's a push. Yeah, so this horse is a very big push. The first day she rode him, she couldn't even get him to canter. And he is a lazy boy, still settling in. He also falls asleep when I scratch him. Yeah. Head. Sophie, what will his show name be if we get him? Take a chance. Take a chance, because she wants to name him Chance. That's not his name currently. If we buy him, she is going to change his name. And that is what she wants to call him. Take a chance will be his show name. Oh, so the other thing I wanted to say, that one thing that really appeals to me about this horse, and maybe the question will come up, is that he's so super willing, and that makes me excited. And we found out that he loves to jump. Mm -hmm. What breed is he? This is a hard one. He's a thoroughbred. He is a thoroughbred. Again, not the horse that we were planning to buy, not the horse we wanted. I feel like the horse that you plan to buy and the horse that you want, you never get that. Well, I think sometimes you can get that, but I just feel like watching Sophie and this guy ride, I see such a kindred spirit. Like him and Sophie are so similar in the way they, they, they. We both get tired easily. <laughs> but also in the fact that they're both, both really loving and, and happy individuals. Like it's just so crazy to see them. And I've showed people video of her riding him and they always say the same thing. Like, wow, it just makes me so happy to see them riding together because they're so the same. This girl wants to know, why didn't you get a horse as good as him before? 
Um, because I was not ready for a 17-1 tall horse. Yeah, that's for sure. But do you think Finn was as good as him? Yeah. Finn was a totally different ride, a totally different personality, a totally different everything. But you guys saw, Sophie overcame so much in her journey with Finn and grew and changed and they loved each other. And it was... Uh, her journey with Finn, looking back, she will always remember him as her like real first pony that taught her everything and the love that they shared. And I think that he's just a new kind of amazing. Okay, so if somebody wants to know, are you planning on showing him this year? Um, well, that depends on how we're going. We probably are gonna show him like a couple shows. So they're at the very beginning of their journey and Sophie only plans this year are for schooling shows and the requirements are a lot different. She can like walk trot poles. She can do so much less and still compete just as a way to practice and extend their opportunity for growth, get him out to shows. His old owner told me that she's very excited to see Sophie and him um, progress and that she'd like to come to some of his shows or one of his shows if they do show this year maybe not the first couple of shows but she is hoping to show him by the end of the season right yep. do you care if you win on him no do you mind taking a step back from the show season this year to start learning a new horse I don't mind I think that's it for questions because all the questions are the same what breed how high what's his show name and what do you plan to do with him? So for me as a parent, watching Sophie, his confidence levels skyrocket on this boy has been so amazing to see the love she has already, to see her like desire to be with him always. She always wants to be in the barn and to spend time playing with him and getting to know him better has just been such so heartwarming for me and I've really loved it. I want you guys to remember that we, we took the consideration of this horse to heart with the help of our coach, with the discussion with his old owner, obviously she really loved him and wanted the best home for him. So we talked about what Sophie's plans are with him and she thought that, that he would be a great fit. I also wanted to touch on the fact that I've got messages from very dear, amazing friends, people who want the best for us and for Sophie and her new horse, people who don't want Sophie to fail and don't want Sophie to ever fall and ever get hurt and to only have the right exact perfect horse for that, for her. And, and I think that's amazing that's and off. wonderful. Yeah, it's gonna be a far oh, drop. Yeah, she said if she falls off, it's gonna be a fall drop, far drop. I love so much that many of you guys have a vested interest in Sophie's happiness and her well-being and I love that. I, as a parent, want Sophie to be able to grow up and have her own story, to have her own history, her own journey on this horse. So with all of those things weighing heavily on our heart and on our thoughts, um, we, think that this horse, we think that this horse is definitely worth a shot. Like I said, he was not what we were expecting. He was not what we wanted. He was not who we thought we were gonna get. We were looking at horses that were like, 13 to 16 years old. We didn't want a younger horse. We we wanted a good mind though. We wanted a calm horse. We wanted a horse that she would have to push instead of pull. And there are so many variables. You can't always be sure. But like I said, there's beauty and growth in every step of everyone's journey. And I want her to have her own story. So maybe this is the beginning of the story of her and Chance. Take a chance because that's what we're doing. Don't you know that you're beautiful?